Hey investors, let's try to take advantage of the recent explosion in gold and silver prices and see if we can find a gold and or silver stock that is set up pretty nicely and not too extended. The good news is gold and silver are going up rapidly in price. The bad news is the ETFs are overextended and many of the gold and silver stocks are overextended or just not set up very well, but maybe we can find one or two to throw our hard-earned money at. Three things before we begin. Number one, not investment advice. I'm not a licensed financial manager, financial planner. Just telling you my um, thought process is based on my 28 years of investing experience. Number two, um, you might consider checking out my Patreon. I show my portfolio and focus list every weekend. And number three, be sure and check out my partner, Seeking Alpha and Alpha Picks. Links to all of those are in the description below. Now, here is the price of gold. This is the five year chart. Look how it broke out of this, um, what, four year long base. You got a nice base with VCB characteristics large, medium, small, smaller. That's a Mark Minervini um, principle. Huge explosion. We got a little measured move here. Up leg, rest phase, another up leg. Zooming in, um, <laughs> I just zoomed out. Here's a 20 year chart. A big uptrend, big base, handle that morphed into another base. But as you can see, um, looking at the ETF, this is GLD. This is um, woefully, not woefully, but this is way too extended. We can't buy safely up here. We need to buy out of a, um, off of a platform where we can, tr can control our risk right here, right here, et cetera. So we can't buy GLD right now. At least I'm not buying it. Uh, GDX, this is another gold miner. This is the, so this is an ETF version of gold, GLD. This is, um, one of the two mining ETFs that I know, um, GDX, and we've got kind of an Eve and Adam double bottom here. You got a head and shoulders down here on this side. That's called a fractal pattern within the pattern, within a pattern. But this right side is compressed. Um, what are these guys thinking about doing? They're thinking about selling, right? So we need for it to handle out. So that's no good right now. GDXJ, the junior gold miners, virtually the same pattern, so that's no good either. Let's jump over to silver and then we'll see if we can find um, <clears throat> a stock to buy. Now when I say no good, certainly these stocks are good, or these ETFs are good, they're going up. But what I mean is they're not giving us a, an entry point where we can safely control our risk by um, setting a stop because if you buy it here um how do we know when the trade has failed when it breaks 39.5 when it breaks 35.5 there's no real um platform to trade off of okay i'm getting on a little tangent here so what i mean is like see eme here's your cup here's your saucer here's your handle you can buy here and control your risk very carefully if you are buying at the right time it should go and you only need to give back a little bat bit right down here for you to know that the stock is behaving abnormally. Conversely, where do you where do you put your stop over here? That's what I mean. Silver, let's see here. Here is the 20 year price of silver uptrend, um, long downtrend, we can call that stage four, stage one, a little stage two and making another base shoulder head shoulder this is not quite finished on um, making this basing pattern here let's zoom out here is the price here's the one year chart of silver certainly it's broken out of the base on the one year chart and it's extended when we look at the 20 year chart it just has a little bit of ways to go and how do we what's the ETF version of silver SLV is the one that I know but it is too extended let's just 
draw a line here. Arguably, most of the price action is down there, right? Even though we have a little bit of stranded price action over here. Most of it is here, which means it is 8% off of the breakout point. So that's unbuyable either. So what I have done is I pirated, I didn't pirate, what am I saying? I pulled a list of um, the mining stocks off of Market Surge, formerly Market Smith. If you go to industry groups over here, you can, this is not a Market Surge tutorial, but um, you can pull up the industry groups and down here are the miners, mining gold, silver, and gems, and mining metal ores. 38, sorry, 74 stocks and 46 stocks. And if you'll notice, they are moving very quickly up the ranks. Um, gold, silver, and gemstone miners were at 140, ranked 148 three months ago, 59th last week, 38th this week. Mining metal ores were ranked 114 three months ago, 164 last week they backtracked interesting but now they're up to 83 these are moving up quickly and then what you can do is um print an excel you can uh, copy an excel version of all the symbols here let me just show you real quick i'll just show you you click on that and you open this <laughs> you click on that you open this and then you pick show all component data comes in down here and then you pick uh, export into Excel. Then it's in an Excel spreadsheet, all right? And you can put it in any software you want, or you can just look at it here on Market Search. Um, personally, I think Market Search is an amazing um, fundamental database, but I just don't like the charts. I find them hard to read. So yes, you could just cycle through these on here, but what I do is I move them over stockcharts.com let me show you okay here we are on stockcharts.com oh you know what let me close these windows just a sec all right let's try this again so down here in my chart lists i imported those symbols i made two new lists here let's see mining metal ores and mining gold silver and gems let's just open this up and i started I'm pre-screening these a little bit, but let's just do a little work together here and see what we uncover. Um, AEM, double bottom, definitely a little extended, a little bit of a tight area, but really too extended. Um, you might want to write down some of these symbols as we go, some of these ones uh, that, that are in uptrends now like this and that might set up at a future date because it seems like... Um, these things are going to keep running for a few weeks or months, right? Let's see. AG, first majestic silver, way too extended. Okay, this has got a little potential. It's by no means a great pattern, um, but it's got potential. AGI, dividend is 0.7, gold miner, 10-year chart up and to the right, even atom double bottom let's zoom back in let's just see here I'm gonna make I'm gonna cut this video off at a half an hour so we'll just see how far we get that's a lot of the price action we'll draw another line right here so we do have a little bit of a platform here if it opens to the upside we certainly could go long here there is some overhead selling pressure which I don't like see how it's squatted 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 but at least we could control our risk and give it a few days to break out we could take a five percent stop on that that's not that bad of an idea in fact let me put this on my patreon focus list one second patreon and we'll watch it over there on my Patreon. Anyway, so that's an option. What else we got? ARMN, 
looking fairly similar. Let's look at this one too. Um, A R M N. Dead money for a decade. Uh, here we've got this is an Eve, Adam and Eve. Now Adam is a pointy bottom. Eve is a rounded bottom. Adam and Eve double bottom. Here's your handle. Sag too far. Made a double bottom in the handle. That's called a fractal. Definitely some trap buyers over here, but they are long, probably long gone. That's a long time ago. Um, gosh, it is okay. It's a very low price stock, and it is pretty wide and loose. It's kind of making a little cap pattern here, but it definitely needs to tighten up. Nice buy volume, though. I like that. Let's put this one. Uh, you know, these ones I'm putting on focus. These are um, actually watch list stocks. So let's call them watch list stocks instead. Still, night. I'm really um, surgical when it comes to my entry points. I want my entry points, my charts to be set up perfectly, or I won't take the trade. That means I miss a lot, miss out on a lot of um, good moves, but that's how I control my risk. I don't like how low price this is. Even so, let's put it on here. Put a W next to it for watch. Put it on my Patreon as well. Let's see. All right, working up the right side. Just a little bit too far gone here. Got potential. Let's keep going. We'll come back and look at this. Or at least I will. Not on camera, but we'll come back and look at this in a few days. El Dorado, really nice move. Notice how stocks don't always make a handle. That means um, a good technique is what I learned from Mark Minervini, and that is to cheat when you can get a cheat entry point like right here. Put on a half position. Put your stop right there because you never did get a handle, did you? Did we? Oh, I'm saying you. Okay, this I like. Um, nice, kind of a triple bottom, if you will. One, two, three. Definitely, we missed the boat. You know, we could have bought it. Ah, There's not much of a handle there. Hmm. Broke out. It's coming back in. It's about 4.5% to extended. That, you know, um, IBD says 5%. If you're within 5% of the breakout point, I like to be within 10% or so. Um, definitely has come in hard over the last couple of years. Lots of trapped supply over here, but again, that's two years ago. Most of those buyers are long gone. If this can tighten up for a few days, or even better yet, probably come back in and retest 5.9, that would be one that I would be willing. If it bounces off 5.8, 5.9, I'd be willing to give it a try. Put that one on my focus list. Too. I'm not I'll pause the video when I do that from now on because you guys your time is important, right? Let's see GFI this one's looking pretty good now. I pre-sorted these you guys um, That's why all the ones that are coming up are looking pretty good GFI. I like this long practically year-long Complicated base. Why do we like complicated bases like this because they shake out all the shoe clerks if you bought it here would you really Hold it through all of here, all of this. You would only do that if you had conviction and we're doing a really long-term hold. Otherwise, you'd be shaken out. When all the weak hands are out, what happens? It goes higher. This is extended about 6%. Let's just look at... The chart is looking better up and to the right. Um, certainly a wild, messy base. Again, we missed it. You know, I was on vacation last week. I probably could have caught a couple of these. This one, gosh, you know, in hindsight, you put on half a position there, full position there. It's really easy in hindsight, right? Again, I need this one to come in just a little bit. Let me put it on my um, focus. HMY extended. Here's a nice example of an Eve and Eve double bottom. Nice to get a handle over here, but you don't always get one. IAG, I feel like it's too far gone, too extended. IDR, now this one has a bit of a trend channel. You could consider playing the trend channel, but 
Um, yeah, extended. Okay, so this is low priced. It is on the over the counter bulletin board. That's two strikes. It is making a nice double bottom here, like so. You got a lot. You've got a lot of near term supply, recent supply. That is recent trapped buyers. 200 days in a strong downtrend. For these reasons, uh, I don't think I want to play. I, I usually don't play OTC stocks anyway. You might keep an eye on it, but I would wait until this 200 day flattens out. KGC, this is looking better. I just had a little panic attack that I forgot to start the video again, but nope, it's rolling. KGC, 10 year chart, deep base. That's definitely way deeper than you like to have a base. Lots of gyrations on the right side though. That makes it um, more likely to succeed. If, if you have a deep base with very few gyrations on the right side, a lot of times it'll fail before the base breaks out. Kind of a base on base here. Boy, I just said base about 10 times. <laughs> Should start a drinking game. Drink every time I say base, huh? Let's see here. First base. Second base. This is kind of a V bottom, which is common in large caps. This is not a large cap. 2% dividend. Uh, just not giving. I mean, you certainly could go long here. Put your stop here. But uh, not ideal. I'm going to keep looking. That being said, let's put it on the watch list. One sec. N-E-X-A. Boy, I'm, we have yet to find a perfect setup, have we? This has some potential. No dividend. That's disappointing. Pretty flat price action. Adam and Adam double bottom with a handle. Lots of supply, but that's over... What is the um, IBD rule? If it, the supply is more than a year and a half in the past. You discount it. That's what William O'Neill said. Let's see. Can we make any sense out of this messy chart? Um, in any case, there's most of your supply. We could do, sometimes I like to put a box over the supply. like so I, let's not call it supply let's call it um, congestion it's hard for the price to get out of uh, congestion like this uh, it's getting there we got some angry trap buyers right here I'd like this to build out and push higher I'll put this on the watch list NGD missed it didn't we extended okay SI LV Silvercrest Metals. This is looking not great, but dare we say pretty good. 10 year chart. If you use your imagination, it might be starting up the right side of this long base if silver prices continue up, and I don't know if they will. Um, then, in theory, the, all of the silver miners should uh, continue upward. By the way, um, tangent. If you guys, any of you guys are fundamental analysts and understand why gold and silver prices are spiking so strongly, if you could um, make a comment about it in the comment section, that would be enlightening for all of us. I know that it has to do with geopolitical tensions, maybe interest rates. I don't know. I'm not really a gold bug, as they say. I don't normally invest in uh, gold and silver, but I'm thinking about it right now. As you know, and by the way, um, maybe you could leave a like as well if you're still with me here. Okay, now let's get back to it here. Um, ugly deep base. I don't like that. It's starting to tighten up a little bit. I like this big buy volume. Maybe we can get this to come into this trap supply, make a tight handle over here, and then we buy it as it starts to push upward. Again, let's put this one on watch. Wheaton Precious Metals WPM. I actually 
did own this one years ago. I think I even made some money off, off of it. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know. I, I tend to not do that well with um, cyclicals, oil, silver, gold, copper. Uh, I don't, for whatever reason, I just seem to have bad luck. Often, uh, I'm late to the party, I suppose, probably like I am right now. Let's see, here is a base, definitely a even atom base. It's deep. Um, let's zoom out. What's the 10-year chart look like? Not bad. It's making a really long base. What's the old saying about long bases? The longer the base, the farther into space. So it's running up into supply. Um, it's running up to the yearly, yearly high. We need this. It's starting to make a little handle. You could buy it here and put a stop here, but that's such a short, what, three-day pause pivot. I'd love to see it handle out for, you know, another week or two, ideally. Tighten up, drift downward. None of these seem to be making nice patterns like that. Maybe that's just the nature of the silver stocks. Let's put this one on watch. All right. ASM to extended uh, penny stock wild price action we got to move faster I've got nine minutes left uh, still in a downtrend this one I actually bought this and sold it for break even this was on my um, patreon portfolio we had this nice this was essentially a power play um, a Mark Minervini power play I'm not gonna explain that right now but I bought the breakout right here should have taken some off was going for the bigger move round tripped it sold it right there but setting up i don't like this near-term supply i would i would wait let it get up here at 17.25 17.50 we'll keep an eye on it i'm watching it extended uh too much supply looking left penny stock china resources development that's <laughs> look at this 50 cents to nine dollars in a day and then back down to two um yeah stocks under five dollars are tricky dangerous i guess would be the word especially coming out of china because the regulatory practices are definitely more dubious sideways sideways downtrend this um you can do stuff like this let me show you one thing you can do which I have done successfully before is when you've got a long downtrend, when it breaks the trend, retests, breaks it again, you go long. So you go long right here, maybe add to the position right here, um, getting a little support on the 200 day. I'd wait for this to flatten out and at minimum, minimum flatten out, ideally start curving up again. Got a lot of trap buyers going left, but you know that's a technical perspective maybe fundamentally if silver goes higher all of these things are going to go higher so maybe you just buy it with an arbitrary five percent stop five half half at five percent half at ten percent lots of different ways you can do this um you know there's pros and cons to everything as mark Menavini says there's no free lunch i'll save that what else do we got here? Boy, I was really hoping to find one perfect chart for us to buy. I'm just not seeing it. Overextended. No platform. And that's a penny stock. Let me, um, oh no, I'll just keep rolling through here. Extended. Extended. Dead money. Double bottom in the making. Not quite ready though. This, um, that's another one of those downtrend breaks that I was talking about, but it's a penny stock. Okay, uh, this I got a little bit excited about this one, but this says royalty. This might be some kind of trust where you have to file extra tax forms. Um, I'm not interested in buying royalty trusts, so we'll skip it. Hecla Mining, boy, you know, it's interesting. A lot of these have made Eve and Adam or Adam and Eve double bottoms. Um, this one is no exception. Not set up for us though. Let's see. Anything at all? 
overextended. Let me pause the video. We'll see if I find a good one. Here's the one we should have bought, PPTA, 2.7 to 6.5 in about a month. What a price explosion. Way too extended for us to buy safely now, in my opinion. Okay, this one's got a little potential, RG, LD. Here is most of our supply. Granted, there's a fair amount of price action above this line, but it is almost a year ago. Lots of gyrations. Most of those guys are already gone, although technical analysts visually will see this and get spooked. Um, it's starting to set up a platform. I'd like to see it spend a little time up here above 125. If it starts moving um, quietly out of here, above 125 I'd be willing to do a half position put on a stop down here as it builds out at to the to position to the position four minutes left let's jump over to that other um this to stop what happens if we go over 30 minutes nothing but I don't want to spend all day making this video you guys Minervini mining gold silver gems mining metal ores that's the other one 48 stocks let me, um, oh, Alcoa. Yeah, this, I actually was talking about this one on Patreon. Bad news is you got all the supply on the left side, but we do have an even atom bottom, draw line, little pause pivot. Once it hits 38, you could go long with a stop at 35. That's a very short platform. Much better to have something at minimum that long. Um, but these things are hot. It may well work. That's an aluminum company. Oh my gosh. This is why you don't trade penny stocks, you guys. See this price action? Ugly. I'll pause the video. Cameco CCJ. I just want to say this is too short and deep, but when you have an ascending 200 day stock in an uptrend, the first time it touches the 200 day, that's often a time the institutions will buy and therefore when we should buy too. Go along right here, stop right here. Yeah, this DNN has been on my Moonshot Patreon list. It has a nice trend channel. Top of the channel, bottom of the channel. You buy when it bounces off the bottom of the channel. ERO, this is making a nice cup, although it's too deep, so I guess it's not that nice. Needs to handle out. Let's put that on watch. Um, yeah, this cup is, it's just too small. Nice price action, way too extended. Downtrend. This was another moonshot stock I have. I-O-N-R. Small price, below a descending 200 day, that is dangerous. But it is giving us a platform to trade. And like I said, if prices keep going up, these probably will, stu will too. You could put on a position here with the arbitrary five or 10% stop. It would be safer, although you get a worse price, to wait for it to get above its 200 day if it's still trading tightly and wait for this 200 day to flatten out. Okay, this I like, and I'm gonna stop on this one. IPX, let's look at the 10 year chart. <laughs> yeah, look at that, okay, that's an uptrend, right? It's only been trading for five years or something. I don't know what was the cause of this wild price action. I don't know anything about this stock at all. What I do is I identify a strong chart and then I do the fundamentals research. I don't do fundamental research first, pick a stock and then wait for it to go up. That's um, a different ball game, so to speak. What do I like about this chart? Well, you got a prior uptrend. It's calming down wild, wild, tighter, tighter. We've got a really nice tight base here. Little shakeout at the bottom. The base is ah, it's awfully short, only less than two months long. Someone, big institution, is selling right at 15.5. That's not your Aunt Ethel selling her 10 shares, is it? But when those shares, when that supply burns off, it is probable that this is gonna go up. Um, I would set a, I'd do a half position because of these trap buyers. 
Then if it builds out and continues upward, I do a full position. I would upgrade it to full position. Could put half your stop there, half your stop beneath the 50 day. Let's set an alert on this baby at 15.6. I'll get a text message and a site notification. Let's put this on focus. So this, so um, I'm not gonna buy anything tomorrow. Um, but we have we found some good ones to put on the watch list. And this one, I will buy it. I would probably wait till the end of the day um, or even for it to close above this range because of all these little squats. But I like this one a lot. Let me put it on focus real quick. Now, here's something I want to say. So that took a half an hour. Um, granted, I could go faster if I wasn't talking to you guys. But I only went through about half of the stocks. So uh, that's an hour's work minimum, but that's what you have to do. If you want super, if you want super performance, you got to do the work, right? If you want to consistently and um, impressively beat the averages year out of year, year after year, you got to do the work. It's as simple as that. If uh, I do it because it's a passion of mine, I love it. If you don't love it, if you're not willing to devote hours in, of, of doing this, then just buy the SPY, S-P-Y. Go about your business. All right, you guys, you know what? Um, think about checking out my Patreon. There's a seven-day free trial. And let me just show you Seeking Alpha Premium real quick. Let's just look up IPX. So we go to, save that. Let's go to Seeking Alpha Premium IPX. Um, this is a this is where I do a lot of my fundamental research. So it's got all of the financial information up here, the fundamentals, earnings, um, profitability, dividends, momentum, etc. And that's all well and good. Um, what I like, I like to read some of these news articles and I like to read the analysis articles. M most stocks have a bunch of different analysts covering them. This one only has this one gal uh, writing about it, which is actually good. That means um, there can be some price discovery on this one. Hyperion X, one to look out for. Oh, it makes titanium. Uh, however, there's a risk. Um, this researcher is a macro, macro, econo macro economist. Wow, <laughs> that's hard to say. Um, then I'll go through and I'll read some of these articles. And then an, another thing I like to look at is you can look at company press releases. There's a link to this uh, in the description if you are interested in learning more about Seeking Alpha. Then there's also Alpha Picks where they pick, um, use quantitative analysis to pick stocks. As you can see, it's um, outperforming the S&P 500 quite a bit. Let me know your thoughts and comments on any of these stocks or strategies. I'll be watching those stocks carefully, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.